Game number seven of the NLCS between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. It all comes down to this one game. It is win or go home in Chicago. And the Reds have found themselves back in this win or go home setting. They are 6-0 and oh in elimination games so far this postseason. Shout out to the comment section for that statistic. But the Reds and Cubs do battle once more. And at one point in the series was three games to one for Chicago. While well, the Reds have come storming back, winning back to back games in games five and six to get back to the spot. And they did that on the heels of both their bats and their arms as well. Primarily though, the bats in game number five and then in game number six, Andrew Abbott really held it down for this Reds team. And the bats of course have started to come back alive as well. But for game number seven, we hand the ball off to the lefty in John Means dealt from Baltimore to Cincinnati halfway through the season. He gets the start here tonight in a big one. There is the series recap so far. Again, you can go through it. All six links to the previous six games are in the description down below. Let's get into it though. It will be Kyle Hendricks versus John Means here in this game number seven. The winner goes on to the World Series to take on the Houston Astros who just took down the Baltimore Orioles in five games in the ALCS. And folks, if you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Reds franchise mode here on the channel. Either tomorrow will be game number one of the World Series or the off season. Kyle Hendricks on the bump for Chicago. Let's get it going. TJ Friedel up first for the Reds. Gonna hit that ball in the center field. It will be caught right off the bat by Cody Bellinger. One gone, here's your Reds lineup. It goes Friedel, McLean, Candelario, Martinez, De La Cruz, Benson, Marte, Steer, and Stevenson. Matt McLean now up on the 1-1 pitch. Him and Candelario have been the one-two punch for the Reds, and they've really kept us alive. McLean is going to get popped out, though. Two gone for Candy as J. Mary Candelario strikes out on the fastball. Only 87 on the gun by Hendricks, but it's enough to fool Candy. Here comes John Means. The postseason has not been where he's shining this year. Nine ERA in the playoffs. He was much better in the regular season. We'll start off this outing, though, by getting Nico Honer to fly out into right field. Here comes Dansby Swanson now in the 3-2. Balls almost hit identically to Honer's. Benson charging in and a little bit more of a difficult play, but he puts him away. Cody Bellinger on the 1-2. He's going to chop one to John Means. That's a tough play. Means to first. Oh, Bellinger going to beat it out on the swinging bunt. Runner on first, two gone. Patrick Wisdom is going to loop one into left field, but there is Matt McLean. Let's now move on to the second inning. Still 0-0. J.D. Martinez starts us off. He'll get around that outside fastball. It's going to be an easy play made in left field by Ian Happ. One down for Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie going to chop one right on the ground, though. There's Nico Honer. Two up, two down so far for Kyle Hendricks as well. Benson with the bat on the free one. Only batting about 170 going into today. Hits one hard, but Cody Bellinger makes an outstanding grab in center field. We move to the bottom of the second, and Seiya Suzuki will have the second hit of the game. That one into the outfield. It's a leadoff single. Christopher Morrell in the full count. Puts one on the ground. Ellie De La Cruz, take it yourself. Double play. Got him. Ellie De La Cruz turns two on Christopher Morrell. We've got two outs for Ian Happ, and he will fly one in to left center field. Matt McLean going to call off Friedel as immediately we go into the bottom of the second. Nolevi Marte leads things off for the Reds. Sorry, the top of the third. Excuse me. Marte strikes out, though. Spencer Steer now gets into the box, and Steer going to fly one into left. This is the Reds that we saw in games two through four. You can't have this. No hits through the first nine batters. Hendricks retires nine in a row as we go to the bottom of the third. And the Cubs still haven't scored, but now they've picked up their third hit. Ryan Noda in the left center field is on with a leadoff base knock. So Noda's on second base for Jan Gomes on the 3-2 count. Gomes will not advance the runner. Ball is hit right to Ellie De La Cruz. One gone. Runner stays put at second base for Nico Honer. That one, though, is a blooper in the center field. It's going to get down. Run will not score. They will be on the corners with one out for Dansby Swanson. A crucial at-bat early. Balls in the ground. De La Cruz to steer. Steer to first to Candelario. And the Reds turn two to get out the jam. You needed a ground ball right there from John Means. We get it. And now we kick off the top of the fourth with finally our first base knock. TJ Friedel up the middle is on with the single. We go hit and run with Matt McClain. He launches one to center. It's harder to make 
better contact than that, but it's going to be caught in center field by Bellinger. One gone for Jamer Candelario. We send Friedel again. This time, that one will fall in center field. Candy's on with the single. First and third, one out. A huge opportunity to get on the board first. J.D. Martinez, the batter on the one, two, hits one into left field and gets through. That's going to score one. We keep him on first and second, but the Reds get on the board first here in game number seven. Ellie De La Cruz with not his best swing going to ground out, get the force at second. Still in the corners, two gone. Will Benson pops out in the infield. There's Dansby Swanson, but the Reds do get on the board first. It's one nothing. Cody Bellinger leads things off by grounding one at two Jamer Candelario. It's a chopper. One gone for Patrick Wisdom. And that's strike three looking on a circle change down and in. Two down for Seiya Suzuki. And John Means, who has been very mediocre in this postseason so far, has gone four shutout innings in the biggest game of the series yet. No Levy Marte leading off the top of the fifth with a leadoff single. And now the bats again are finally coming through as Spencer Steer, though, will fall victim to that Kyle Hendricks curveball. Tyler Stevenson now in the one two strikes out as well. The curveball is working for Hendricks. He's just got no run support tonight. Friedel hits one in the right center field. I think Bellinger is going to range over and make the play. He will. Still, though, the Reds in the lead. At least for now, Christopher Morell is going to get a single going past the diving glove of Candelario. Morell on first for Ian Happ. Pitch 90 for Means, and it's going to be an out. The problem is, again, we're going to have to go to the pen eventually, but Means is through four and one third. Ryan Noda now blasts one deep center field. TJ Friedel going back, and he makes the play at the warning track. All right, Means still going strong. Now up, Jan Gomes, likely his last AB, and Means gets him swinging. So a very productive five innings out of John Means. We will now look to this Reds bullpen, who is injured and kind of dead, but we'll see what happens. The Reds go one, two, three in the top of the six. That's fine to the bottom half of the inning. We go to Buck Farmer. He was the replacement for TJ Antone. If Farmer did not make the original postseason roster, here he is. We might need two innings out the guy. I don't know. Again, everyone is low on stamina. We will see. He'll get Nico Honer on the fastball. Dansby Swanson on the 3-2 pitch. Oh, man. And just like that, with one swing of the bat, the Cubs tie this game. Dansby Swanson goes into left center field worth every single dime they're paying on the former first overall pick for the Atlanta Braves goes through in 80 feet and this game is tied. Farmer though got a regroup. He gets Cody Bellinger now in the one two and he will get Bellinger to pop out. So it could have been catastrophic if Bellinger did some damage right there. We've got two gone in the inning, four spot now up. It will be Patrick Wisdom on the one two count. Wisdom gonna put one on the ground and that one is gonna get past no Levy Marte. The bottom of the six will extend now to the five spot, say a Suzuki. We go to the pen to Emilio Pagan earlier than I wanted him to, but we know that someone's got to go two innings out this Reds bullpen likely tonight. And what, what is Candy doing here? Just tag the base. I press circle. Like it's fine. We get the out. doesn't matter. Two of the seventh inning. 1-1. One, one. Keegan Thompson now pitching for Chicago. He will get Ellie De La Cruz swinging on a curveball. Will Benson now in the 1-2 pitch. Lines one into left center field. Huge AB out of Will Benson. That is extra bases for the Reds here in the top of the seventh. Benson standing on second base. One gone. No Levy Marte the back and he strikes out. Need a hit. Spencer Steer has been very good in this postseason. You need another good AB right here. Hits one up the middle and gets through. Steer's going to drive in the go-ahead run here in the top of the seventh. 2-1 Cincinnati. Tyler Stevenson looks to add on. He'll just get around that cutter. It will end the top of the seventh, but the Reds have the lead. Pagan comes back out for the bottom of the seventh. Christopher Morell launches one. Deep left field, but it is playable for Matt McClain, and he's got it. One out. Here comes Ian Happ on the one-two pitch. Happ going to get popped out. Ellie De La Cruz is in the infield, and he has got it. Two gone in the inning for the eight spot, Ryan Noda. He's burnt us before in this series. Noda gets a hold of one. Benson, though, going back, and he puts him away to the eighth inning we now head Yancy Almonte pitching for Chicago he'll get TJ Friedel on that slider running in one down for Matt McLean on the 2-2 pitch McLean hits that slider into center field however that one will be caught by Bellinger to gone J. Mayer Candelario on the 2-2 pitch and Candy barely gets a hold of that slider it's gonna be played well by Nico Honer 
to the bottom of the eighth and we will need six outs from Alexis Diaz. We have no other choice. We have no other arms other than Gregory Soto, but I don't trust that guy. So Alexis Diaz sees Jan Gomes first and Gomes gets a single. Lead off runner on, go ahead run to the plate. Lead off man, it's Nico Honer on the one, two, got him on a slider. One out, Dansby Swanson already has the one run for the Cubs tonight and Diaz walks him. Bellinger on the 1-1, one, one, hits one in the right field, it's gonna get down. 37 speed from Jan Gomes. Will he test the arm of Benson? He will. Gomes to the plate, he's safe. The Cubs tie it at two here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And there's only one out. Here comes Patrick Wisdom on the 3-2, got him looking. On the slider, Diaz needs to get Seiya Suzuki on the one-two pitch. Suzuki in the center, Friedel charging. Oh, he lets it drop. And the Cubs take a 3-2 lead. We'll get Christopher Morrell. But it's a one-run game in favor of the Cubs. And J.D. Martinez strikes out to lead off the inning. Ellie De La Cruz strikes out as well. Final hope is the sixth spot. Will Benson on the 2-1. He'll ground one to first. And that's your game. Ever so quickly did the Reds lose this one. You felt like they were in somewhat control of this entire game until they weren't. Until they weren't. The bottom of the eighth, Alexis Diaz, your closer, comes in and can't get three outs. Multiple hits by the Cubs are going to do it, and Chicago is heading back to the World Series for the second time in the last decade. They'll be taking on the Houston Astros. Oh man, that one hurts. The Reds one inning away basically from going to the World Series, but they fall just short. And now they look to regroup in the off season. Folks, what a 2024 regular season and postseason for the Cincinnati Reds. We'll be back tomorrow night for the offseason. Again, looking to regroup and making this team a legit contender going into 2025. Folks, thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba, forever.